What's your time? At the Apollo, oh, it's your time. Hey, at the Apollo, can't you feel the groove? It's your time. Hey, at the Apollo, it's your time. What's up, everybody? I know y'all sitting out there waiting because y'all want to know what the fuck Lee Tanya got on tonight, honey. Y'all want to know what we're talking about. Tonight, we're talking about secrets. Secrets, honey. How much secrets? Secrets. How many bitches got them? Secrets. How many bitches need them? They are secrets. And I ain't talking about secrets. I'm talking about secrets. Hold on, y'all. One second, y'all. This motherfucking thing keep talking about connection on, connection lost, connection is. Give me one second. Y'all line up in the room and make sure that you guys have clicked the link in the bio because we are going to go live on Station Head after this. And we're going to play music. We're going to bounce it up and we're going to do the thing. And over there is where I will be taking people. So make sure you're signing up to Station Head. Click on that link in there and go and get you a free Station Head account so that we can be on there bumping radio, like playing music. Y'all y'all gonna be able to see me in one minute, bitch. Hold, hold your line, hold your line. Just like you hold your mud, hold your line. Me and Chief, me and Lee Tanya got a couple secrets. Well, one secret, we, won't, we, we was about to get into it last week, but we was gonna share that secret, honey. But we had, uh, <laughs> but we gonna share it tonight. So make sure you guys have clicked that link so that you're on station head at the same exact time that you are on the live show because we are going to be loud, live, and in color on the radio station after this, bitch. So get ready. Lee Tanya, you ready? Yeah, bitch, I'm ready. Lee Tanya, for some reason, my motherfucking um, mouse keep going in and out. Hold on, bitch. Y'all hold on the line real quick. Y'all better keep the bottom bitch P-A-I-D because the bottom bitch says she ain't shaking down no more. Um, you know, I want to improve my rapping skills, you know. Let me tell you, I don't hear your shoes clacking. I don't hear your shoes clacking, Let me tell you. Where your shoe? Your shoes ain't clacking, Let me tell you. Do hoes want to hear your motherfucking Do hoes want to hear your motherfucking shoes clacking, Let me tell you. They want to hear your mother. Bitch, y'all walk in here, Lee Tanya. Walk in here and walk out. Bitch, do y'all hear Lee Tanya? Baby, Lee Tanya got the heels and everything on, baby. Oh, Lee Tanya got the heels and everything on, baby. Oh, no, let me make sure this bitch comes from the beginning. Ah. Oh. Every, every Saturday night, each and every Saturday night, we down here to the motherfucking yellow bitch. We got stretch marks, bullet holes, STDs, bitch. We got cock eyes, one eyes, bitch, three holes. Clean feet, dirty feet, big feet, small feet, bitch. We got the girls down here that came to fuck. And if you don't give a fuck about the girls that came to fuck, we you know you coming down here to Y-E-L-L-A-A, down here to the yellow. We ain't the pink, baby. We the yellow, bitch. We real dude. We dirty dude. Ah, ah. Let me start it up. Hey, where is Latonya? Where is Latonya? The baddest Latonya. What at? Ow. Is you coming in? Coming in for a 20 cent. Latonya, ooh. Is you ready to go? Ready to go. But they got to do the show. Latonya, ow. Come on in. Come on in and bitch bring your friend Latonya. Look at her glass. Look at her glass, bitch. Where is her glass? Lee Tanya, 
Holly Pine, your eyes. Her lips is pink. Her lips is pink. Cause her toy can't keep me from your movement. And look at her lashes. Look at her lashes. Look at the lashes. Lee Pine, your beard. Ooh, she got a mustache. She got a mustache. And she wants your cash. Lee Pine, your eyes. Wind it up. Wind it up. But not too fast. You can touch. Lee Pine, your eyes. Her neck be hanging, her neck be hanging. If your money be banging, be hunt your house. Look at her wine, look at her wine, like a dirty wine. Be hunt your food, ain't got no ass, ain't got no ass. And the bitch ain't got class. Be hunt your house. Shake it up, shake it up, so the niggas will fuck. Be hunt your food. I see your ball. I see your arms hanging through your trunk. Please hang your out. Don't get scared. Don't get scared. Just give them some head. Please hang your. Wind it up. Wind it up and make them niggas come up. Please hang your way. She had an accident. She had an accident because her balls went down. Please hang your. Her dick is hanging. Her dick is hanging, but I'm still gonna be hanging. Please turn ya. The bitch got a dance. The bitch got a dance. Cut the bitch roll in. Please turn ya. Move. Her hair is pretty. Her hair is pretty, and it came from the city. Please turn ya out. Bad and pink. Bad and pink. Wash her ass in the seat. Please turn ya. Look at her back. Look at her back, why is why like that? Be part of your fool. Nothing to front. Nothing to front. So you pull the stunt. Lee turn your fool. Batch your eyelashes. Batch your eyelashes and they get all the cashes. Lee turn your fool. Make it rain. Make it rain for Lee turn your thing a lee. Lee turn your owl. Her mama named Keisha. Her mama named Keisha and the bitch used to be the bleach on your owl. Look at her face. Look at her face. The bitch is out of faith. Bleach on your boom. Her lips is pretty. Her lips is pretty, but her drawers be shitty. Bleach on your owl. Her name should be white. Her name should be framed. Cause the thief be saved. Bleach on your bitch. The home is real wild. The home is and she fight like a star behind the bitch. I ain't scared of her. I ain't scared of her, cause she ain't a her. Please hunt your bitch. If you try me again, you try me again, I'm a baby with your hands behind your bitch. Oh, what's up? Oh, what's up? Bitch, let's get up. Please hunt your bitch. The bitch won't tuck. The bitch won't tuck, cause the nigga like Letanya, wait, what keep going on with the sound? Letanya, what's going on? Is your nuts out of control? Letanya, <laughs> something wrong? Is your nuts going crazy? Letanya, what's wrong with your nuts tonight? <laughs> Letanya, I couldn't even finish this song because your nuts don't feel like this. <laughs> your nuts don't feel, Letanya. Do you need, oh to, do you need to fix your nuts? Yeah. Hold on, y'all. Hi guys, it's me, the TS. <laughs> Join me after dark. Let's talk about any and everything that we can talk about after dark. Because the Lord is my shepherd. Glory to God. Hey, but I thank God. Honda BBBI Shack. God, look on right now. In the name of Jesus, healing hands, touch and deliver. Healing hands, touch and make whole. Hallelujah. Ha. 
I know BBB, I shout. Look on every man, every woman, every boy, and every girl. Hey, EB, I shine, though. God, we came to praise you. We can I get so sick of sisters, I don't know what to do. God damn it, y'all. What's up, everybody? This is your girl, T.S. Madison, honey, and Lee Tanya Bojangles Fairchild here in the house. And we are loud, live, and in color on tonight's show, the T.S. Madison After Dark Show, where we talk about sex, sex, sex and more sex. We share our experiences, we share our ups, we share our downs, we share our tucks, and we share our balls, okay, honey? But we just share it all because this is a place where it's no judgment zone, and we are loud, loud, and in color down here to the yellow. We in, the, we in one of the bathrooms here at the yellow, and, uh, but we'll be back soon uh, to the place the yellow is under construction as we speak. Um, Litan, you look nice tonight. Thank you, baby. Who did your face? Stephen, um, Stephen Berry, M-U-A, on Instagram. Stephen Berry, did your face? Mm -hmm. He did mine, too. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you very much. Look Stephen up, honey, on Instagram, honey, if you want a good beat. And he do not smell like feet. All right. Well, so last week, uh, Lee Tanya and I were sitting up here talking to y'all about the things and stuff. Lee Tanya, damn, your lashes look good. Ooh, that is hot. You don't want to turn on that thing on? Yeah. So we got to turn that thing on. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please make sure that you... Oh. I think I see... I don't know if that's a, an ant or a, a bug or something hanging from the back. Oh, those are your balls. I'm sorry. Oh! I was going to smack it with Oh, my shoes. God. Wow. <laughs> I was going to tear that ball up with that motherfucking shoe. All right. So tonight we're talking about secrets and things of that nature. Um, We will be answering calls tonight on Station Head. So make sure that you click the link in the bio. And oh, bitch, y'all making it rain down on me. Rain down on me. Oh, 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 oh. Woo. Tanya, if you want to look pretty, look at your look at your one. Your audience show up here every Saturday. I know. Season. Hey, audience. So stop looking at yourself. I know. Let me be. Ooh. See, every time y'all do that, every time y'all make it ring, I'm going to bring a curl to the front. <laughs> 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 make it ring again. Make it ring again. I'm going to bring another curl to the front. Listen, she started at $3. Then she ended up at 7 Now she won't 10 this week. You know, she a $10 hoe. You know, you know. It's know. pink. You know, it's kind of. Bitch, I'm giving you motherfucking very starburst. Like the pink starburst. You know what I want to call on? Come on, come on, come on, come on and rest this while we, while we sit back and share stories to the public on, on the thing. Rest this. Uh, I remember the Ooh. way. Oh, wait. Oh, hey. You used I ain't put no glue now. You just love me. Oh, you don't appreciate the time. Why are you so deep? Put into this love affair. <laughs> why are you so deep, baby? Mm -hmm. But why are you so deep, though? And I think it ain't the time, baby. We're gonna be playing all the songs on on station here, and we're gonna be talking about where we were in love on that time. So let me found. I remember. Now, why you just did this big ass boot for a right there? Break it, hold on. Yeah, uh, all my bad bitches. Break it up. Girl, you giving me Jicky Nanaj, bitch. Who you said who? Jicky Nanaj. Jicky Nanaj. Jicky Nanaj. We're gonna be playing some Jicky Nanaj tonight, honey. Jicky. I Ooh. like this pink for wow. You do? Ooh. What? Now can you drop this on this side right here? You want it on this side too like this? Ooh. See, wait, you gotta drop it. There's one curl. You know, you know to be curl. honest with you, this is the way I had pulled you together that day when we looked back the story that we get ready Ooh, to tell. Right. But I was much darker than this. Yeah, you wasn't painted this light. Mm -hmm. But I actually didn't have no paint on at all. You didn't, and you looked at exactly <laughs> like what you look like. Oh, no. <laughs> Baby, I look like. Right. That's all. That's it right here. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's all. That's it. That's all. Expose your earrings with your mind. But expose your earrings. There she go. You know what's yours is mine and what's mine is yours. That's what you said. That's what he said, too. But guess what? He paid me more than you. <laughs> well, you didn't know that at the time. You were right. I'm sorry. All right. So uh, I think you guys have been following us for a very long time. Uh, you've got a lot. Some of you have already heard this story. Oh, well. 
Um, but you're going to hear it again. And this time, you're going to hear it from Latanya. But Latanya wasn't named Latanya at the time. I wasn't named I was. <gasps> was it Nakronda? Kamika. Kamika. It was some name. I just said it was, it was a name that I felt that was befitting, you know, of the situation. Anyway, so for those of you who have been with me for a very long time, this, I, for, this pink look really good on me. Like, let me actually get a. So you sitting, you know, you sitting a real far. I need to get it a little bit. Yeah, let them come in. Oh, so, yeah. So, yeah. Spend a little money, you can look like this. <laughs> Spend a little money, you can look like this. Spend a little money, we can look like this. Let's go to this break, and then we'll be right back, honey. And after when we come back, honey, we will definitely begin the story. Hey, everybody, this is T.S. Madison. And if you are trying to grow your business, brand, or product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey, a broad demographic. Advertise with me today. All right, we're back. All right, the story that we're going to talk about is the night that I turned Lee Tanya from, uh, well, excuse me, the night that I turned Chi Chi into a woman. Now, I know that, you know, every a lot of my, my uh, get trans sisters and, you know, gay, gay daughters and stuff like that, they have their own gay daughters. You already know when you come into the game, you try to teach your daughters, honey, to fuck niggas, get money. You try to teach them that, you know, whether they learn these things from you or not, we don't know. Because clearly one week ago, she had told us this story about, Girl, I, I, I. about how, the, I, I. how she was how she had ah. got goofed. You get what I'm saying? Girl, goofed, how she had got goofed. Girl, but go it's okay. Me. I'm going to let it go because it will look like another love TKO. I'm going to go ahead and go on air at the same time and then I'll tell you guys. So I'm going to go on air on Station Head. All right. So we're going on air right now. Station Head. Hey, Boom. Okay. So we're on air <laughs> right now. Oh my God, honey. We're going to stop playing music. We're not playing music now. <laughs> We're not gonna play music. Not cut that shit out. We're on air. We're also on air on station here right station now. Station here, hey! What's up, everybody out there? Oh, station God. here, honey. You know, cause we gonna play music and stuff after it goes down on the compound. Right now, we're gonna stop Lady Gladys from singing. Right now, we're gonna <laughs> stop Gladys from having her love overboard at the moment. So, if you guys are listening, watching us, get on station here as well. Follow me. I'm TS Mass. I'm easy to find on station here because we're gonna be playing music and all this stuff. Whatever. We're gonna tell this story. So mm -hmm. this was kind of like the very first time. Now, mind you guys, I, I have been escorting for a very long time. And then I, I, I bought my first home. So this is the very first. This is one of, okay, I bought this house and I bought another house. I sold the other one. This is the very first house that I had purchased or whatever over here in this place. And I had made a promise to myself that, you know, I was not going to be a hooker and prostitute or escort and all this stuff over here in this house. However, you get what I'm saying? At the time, my mortgage was 4000 some odd dollars per month because, you know, my credit was good and I had put zero down on this house. So, you know, bitch, that means you put zero down, bitch, whatever the percentage is of whatever. So that's how much your mortgage is. So my mortgage is for four racks, 4000 4, something per month. Um, so I was like, bitch, I'm going to hustle just a little bit, but I'm going to have more higher end clients, you know. Um, uh. I had met your manager at the time, her, no, Chi Chi. Mm -hmm. You did. And I brought Chi Chi up here because Chi Chi was in the midst of, you know, filming filming some of my adult films and things like that or whatever. You know, I, I employed you doing that. Or employed Chi Chi, you know. My manager. Yes, your manager. I employed your, your manager or whatever. And um, when I employed your manager, you know, your manager was here, you know, rent free and things of that nature. And I was like, listen, any man that come up in this motherfucker, Man, woman, a child, bitch, you can't live in this bitch and eating this motherfucking free. So, bitch, you got the goddamn work. And if I was working, bitch, I ain't nobody finna lay up here and, and enjoy the fruits of my labor with my knees and elbows being uh, uh, well, fucking ran down on the carpet, bitch. 
Yes, so ran, down ran down on the carpet. Ran down on the carpet twice, bitch. Ran down on the piece. Twice. So therefore, I had put this pussy ass hole to motherfucking work. So I couldn't figure out a name. I just know that I had received a phone call from a Caucasian man, a Caucasian gentleman, very nice. He gave me that he worked for a, a very big company. You know, because let me tell you something. When when men show up to your home as Johns and escorts, and they show up to your home in t-shirts and jeans and they drive their work trucks or they drive playing cars, know that those are the ones, either they're one or two, they're either the police or they have, or they're Mark Zuckerberg's bitch, they're coins. When them niggas that show up to your house with all that jewelry and flashy and all that stuff, they bro. them the same ones that'll be asking you later on, bitch, can you have them for free because bitch, they ain't got it. You know, you got to just, right, all that bullshit. So girl, okay. um, I had explained to, I don't know what the name that it I was had. very ugly. It was a very hideous name. My manager name. said the name was so ugly that it just it was a it hide- taunted him for like two weeks. The like, name was hideous. It was a hideous name. H i d e a o u hideous name. And you know, I just said, well, I mean, I have to give you this name because I knew that the white man was not going to be able to pronounce it. It was easy for him to pronounce Madison, so I wanted to make it very difficult. For him to pronounce the second girl, because you know, usually when you're dating a man or you, you're doing some freaky ass secretive shit, they be want somebody else to come in and slide in on the situation too. Girl, would you like to continue? So, <laughs> what happened? She called me in the. Was did he come already? Well, I had. I no, had, you prepped me. I had told you that there was you a said, gen- that you, I, there was a gentleman called. You said, uh, come here. You just told my manager. You said, come here. I was like, what's going on? You can on? speak from your attorney. Okay. Honey. So you was like, girl, come here. And um, I was like, what's this? You was like, girl, okay, this man's looking over. He wants two girls. I said, two girls. And you was like, yeah, my two girls. I said, so what that mean, my girl? Yeah, because mind, <laughs> <this was, laughs> mind you, this was this horse's first time ever, well, soliciting real money. <laughs> now, she had probably been down there asking for a hot little 10, 15. Well, or, or actually just have it for free because they was cute pieces of trade. Not easy. I was, I, you know, every now and then, you know, I got my new good guac, but, uh-huh, uh-huh, but, but it wasn't on this level. Right. So she called me and she's like, girl, I got to the man said he want two dates. I mean, he want two girls. I said, two girls. I was like, yeah. She's like, so I said, what they mean? She's like, bitch, you finna put this motherfucker wig on. She gave me this black and white dress. I never forget this dress. It was black and white. Yes. Yeah. It was black and white. It, it was, was black and white shirt. And my right. my I ain't had you said this is what you this is what you <laughs> mind you know before you even get deep, get the same black and white dress that I gave your sister. Miss Williams. Yes, ah! AKA, what was her name then? Morgan. 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 I that's the same black and white dress. Like, listen, all my daughters. If you come and be my daughter, bitch, when I was a hooker, bitch, you was getting a black and white striped dress, bitch, because that's because it, it, it symbolized that you were going to prison, bitch. If you didn't let me, if you didn't let me, motherfucker, manage you, you were going to prison. So that black and white striped dress was, was just, the, you know. So she put me in this black and white hideous. Oh my god, she put me in this black and white hideous dress, girl. She was like, "Listen, you ain't got no shade. You ain't got no titty. Mm-hmm. Put the dress on." Yeah, I put the dress on. She was like, "Okay." So she was like, "So the man running over." She was like, "Go in the room." Yeah, in the closet. In this, uh, was, was you in this closet in here? I was in the room. I came in oh, the room. Oh, you was in this room. Okay. I came in the room. So you was like, go in the room. So I went in the room. You like, how? This is that go in the room, home. I'm going to call you. Say it like they, they got to hear you. Oh, honey. She said, go in the room, home, and I'm going to call you. I was like, all right. So I heard the man come in. So I heard him come upstairs, you know, because bitch, I'm in the room right there. You heard me greeting him. Go, hi, baby. Yeah, you know, I heard you do all that. Hi, baby. Yeah, and all that. How are you? So we brought him upstairs. I forgot what. Bitch, what name? Bitch, whatever you call, whatever name, you got him in the room, and then y'all started, you know, whatever, whatever. It was a very, it was the a name hit, was very ugly. It was a hideous name, and I knew that the man was not going to be able to repronounce that name. That name was very, very ugly. I, I knew that he was not going to be able to repronounce that name. It was hideous, okay? So I came in the room shot as fuck because I know I, I was looking like nobody wanted me. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm with this whole fish patty over here. I'm just the boy in drag. You know, so I came over. She was very aggressive. Who, me? What yes. happened? No, no, <laughs> time. You had to go step by step. 
See, the girls think that I'm pussy because I don't respond to a lot of shit online. But, bitch. She was very aggressive. I started out with the man. Hi, baby. How are you? Yes. Are you ready for the two-girl explosion experience? Yes. Whatever you're talking so, Bitch. On the way, um, so I get in the room. She, she said, come over here. Okay, okay. Why I'm like, I'm shy. I'm like, bro. You I, was, you was, I, I you was, was really shy? I was really shy because this is the white man. Uh -huh. First of all, you're a black transsexual. Oh, and we knew he, we knew he, <laughs> I didn't know he was police. No, you, no, if he was here, you knew he wasn't the police. Well, yeah, but you know, like, it was just a lot going on in that moment in my brain, so I was just very shook of mm -hmm. So, girl, he was, the man was giving her fellatio. Oh, you watched him, you watched him orally please me. Oh, hold your eyes up, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm getting you ready, because I'm getting you ready, because someone's going to call us tonight. <laughs> Well, you know there's three girls here. Oh, no. There's <laughs> only two. The other one is in the, that she saved the state about EDD I shot out. Every ah, I shot out. Oh, my God. Hold them up. So she said, uh, he was giving her a fellatio. She said, come over here. You you heard me say that? Yes. And you, you, you know, actually, I didn't say that. Bring your motherfucking ass over here, nigga. Because, you know, I call white men niggas too, bitch, because they love all that shit. Bring your motherfucking ass over here and lay your big ass down. He's oh, my God. Yes, baby. Yes. So you better lay your motherfucking ass down right now, bitch. I'm just I, you better lay your motherfucking ass right down right now, bitch, before I beat your motherfucking ass. I'm just kidding. And he was like, oh my God, baby. Oh God. I said, bitch, you asked me for another hoe. You trying to split the money that you brought here for me with another bitch? Bitch, you better motherfucking give me all this fucking money. And so after I said that, you know, he was on his knees and he was worshiping me. And, um, you know, he was very, you know, worshiping me and loving me and stuff. And I say, hold on. And I, whatever name that I called you, I called it very loud. I, I think it was Necron Necronda. It was some. I was like, Necronda! Bring your ass in here, bitch. And so, you know, she and came in the room. And when she, when she said that, I was I didn't know if I was going to get a beat. I mean, I, I was well, she didn't know because this was, this was, this was her very, this was her first time. You know, trying to figure out exactly, you know, what what the fuck was going on, because this this is her first time in a situation like this. But you know, she had never seen me in this space. Like she had never seen me very dominant, right? Very, you know, what I'm saying. She so I was nervous as fuck. But go ahead, go ahead. And so, you mm -hmm. know, <laughs> she came in or whatever. She eased in, and the yes, hair, the hair, going, yeah, you know, the hair. It was very <laughs> this. It was very this. It was all. This. <laughs> She well, came in very high. Let me demonstrate. Yeah, straight. Go, go from the back and ease on in high. I was like, Nicole, bring your motherfucking ass in here. This pussy ass motherfucker trying to give me a little bit of money, give you some too. She, it was very high. That's what she gave. Very that. It was very that. So I don't know if the white man even, <laughs> you know, even saw her face or whatever. I don't know what happened. I didn't want him to see my face. I don't know if he even saw her face or whatever. I knew that I looked, I didn't look like you. You had tits, you look, and I looked like a man, like a whole, a whole shenigga in the like, What was it? Wait a minute. The word of the night is shenigga. Okay. <laughs> you, we'll definitely be getting more deeper to this on station here. So you guys, please, while while, while we're in the middle of the story, I need you guys to be su subscribing to, to my station head channel right now. Click the link in the bio. And get you a piece of this station head because we're gonna be. I'm gonna be opening up the lines here because I know I'm gonna be giving you guys an opportunity to reveal some of your stories and some of you don't want to show your face. And it's easy for me to take calls, right. take the people in over here, and y'all can talk over the radio line and be able to hear it over and over again. So she said that she looked like a whole shenanigans. Okay, and that's a she and, and a nigga. Nigga. No, a she and not a shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> Shit So I was I was very I was very shy and I was very like scared. I'm gonna say scared. I was very nervous. So she was like, get over here and put your cock in his mouth. I said, get get I, no, that's not what I what said. said. Get your motherfucking ass over here and put your dick in this motherfucker mouth. And you know, obviously this it was her first time, you know, trying to really you know, get it, get into situation, and she had never ever done anything like that before. And um, she was, it, it was her first time actually meet me seeing her piece, me seeing her naked, 
seeing her, Jerry, her private. I was like, ugh. Bitch, girl. I was dick out, bought girl, titties she, out. Yeah. Dick oh, I didn't see you like 80 pounds. No, but you had you had seen boys fucking me and stuff like that. And you but, know, I ain't, like, but I didn't see you naked. So I was. Bitch, titties out, dick was hanging out, bitch. I was just like, girl. Man was laying there like the, the man was, he was so, it, he was so caught up into the whole situation of him being, you know, like, like control yeah, and me was I was very loud screaming at him and I was I was girl I you had know, it was I had it, for me. I had his hair he had you know he had some, it was he was a brunette yeah, was <laughs> I a had brunette. his motherfucking name hey, hey, hey yeah hey, I had that motherfucking hey, hat yeah it's very that hey, I had his hair hey mama <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey <laughs> hey, you got real. You so I had I had his motherfucking hair and his hair was in my fucking hand and I was like, you know what I'm saying, you know, telling him bitch, and I told her to bring her bitch ass over here. Bitch, bring you your bitch, dick, bring your, your bitch ass dick over here. Right. Bring your bitch ass over here and motherfucking put your dick in this motherfucking mouth. And she was like really nervous to try to let it down. So I aggressively grabbed her skirt and pulled it up, honey. And then we were, then it was exposed. Balls, dick, and oh, pubic hair. So and yeah. she was so embarrassed. And I told him, get your big ass up on my motherfucking bed, nigga, and put your legs up. He was like, yes, ma'am. Oh, God, yes. Yes. And so when he got his big ass in the bed. And so mind you, at this point, I'm smothering him. With no, this, no, no. He oh, was still this? standing. Oh, okay. I told you to mount his face. Oh, you did say that. I remember that. Mount his motherfucking face. And so when I when when she climbed in the bed, she still and I she want at first she wanted to take your shoes off. Mm -hmm. She wanted to take off her shoes. So I was like, bitch, don't you ever take no fucking shoes off when no man is giving you money the fuck that goes for a black man or a white man, bitch. Don't you ever take your fucking shoes off, bitch. You a whore in this moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bitch, a man, you are an entire fantasy, bitch. Don't you ever take your fucking shoes off. And don't you ever fuck no nigga without no earrings and no lipstick on, bitch. Me and so she was just like, oh my God, like she, she was learning these things. And I was, you know, but I was learning these things very aggressively and very fast, <laughs> you know. And so, <laughs> <laughs> this really and I was just like, and for the whole time, I'm just looking at you like, okay, yeah, but good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. So the man is like, he's really <laughs> So she climbed on the man's face oh, or whatever, you know. Well, she climbed on the side and she laid her her un, her her uncut penis and he to hit the man's mouth and her balls were hanging on the side of his you know, side of his chin. And he was he looked over there, he looked at me like and he suck and I said, so put your stick your motherfucking tongue out and lick that bitch dick. And he was like, Yes, ma'am. Oh. Um, and so <laughs> she was looking at me like, girl, what is going on? You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, what the fuck? <laughs> What the <laughs> fuck is going on in between the sheets and my wall? And after you know, she's looking at me, girl, honey. So the man was like, uh, I said, nigga, is you ready? Because I call white men, like I said earlier, I call white men nigga, and I call black men nigga, I call everybody nigga, bitch, because that means bitch you whatever. So I rolled the rubber down, girl, on my penis, and you know, and at the time when I was a smaller girl, my penis was, you know. It looked to me a little bit more massive than it is. Like y'all know, I done ate a bunch of chicken boxes, bitch. I'm real, I'm real, I'm real in a comfortable space right now. I don't give a fuck if the dick come out or not, bitch. Bitch, I'm paid, so I don't worry about none of that bullshit. And that bitch looked massive. And when he seen me rolling that motherfucking Magnum XL down on this motherfucking, I'm the kindest bitch. And he was looking, he 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 was licking her dick and looking down at me with his legs wide open. Cause see, I like to fuck a man. With, if I'm ever, if I ever have to be. You know, in the top position, I really like to fuck a man. You know, in the buck, like I like to. I, I don't like fucking a man from behind because I feel like I'm. I want I'm fucking a bitch. I don't want to fuck no woman. And I, bitch, I need to see dick and balls. That goes for anything, white or black. Mind you guys, I'm still smothering his face. No, no, you hadn't started smothering oh. him yet. Oh, okay. he was. I had because I hadn't oh, penetrated. Okay. Oh, okay. So he's looking down. I said, "Nigga, is you ready to get fucked?" He said, "Yes, yes, yes." So I put. I, Hold that fucking lube. I while him watch me pull that lube. I said, keep, keep licking that bitch dick. He's mm -hmm, but still trying to look down there and see me pull that lube on 
only thing that I was screaming, I said, you want this motherfucker, don't you? You want this motherfucker, don't you, you big bitch, you? And mind you, I'm, I'm looking, this I'm looking, y'all, this whole captivated, like, oh my God, it's a lot going on right now. And so, you know, um, girl, after that, after he told me yes, I took about one, two, three, four, maybe about six steps back. And then I rushed, because I had lubed his, his pussy grease up whole river. river. I rushed, bitch, and I just, I, it was like battering ram speed. <laughs> he said, oh! And, then, and when he said, oh, like that, girl, he, he screamed in the air. And then I told Lee Tanya, which was Necronda at the time, I said, bitch, get over his motherfucking face, not and put your dick all the way down his throat. And then she got on top of him, and she started... She put it all the way. It, it never got it. She never got an erection. Never. Yeah. I don't think. Never, you know. It never happened. She got it went over in his. But I seen it go down in the man mouth because I seen his head go back like that. He, oh, <laughs> that's all you heard. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's all you heard. Because I was like this, bitch. I was trying. I was really. I was really trying, y'all. Like I was really. Just get back when they could get. When they could see what what is given. Yes, Nicole. So I'm lying. Man. Yes. And so this is his face. Uh-huh. And this is his body. Yes. And this is the <laughs> yeah. yeah. So as she's ramming him, I'm like this. I'm trying like, she's trying to I'm trying like, she's trying to teabag him, bro. I, I was trying to But I wanted her to really make sure that the dick the heat that the dick involves everything was in his I wanted him to get like this. I wanted him to get the full experience. Like you know, <laughs> he paid for an aggressive experience. You know, he, he paid me like I think it was I think he paid me like okay he paid me almost a thousand dollars. You only gave me a hundred and fifty. <laughs> I gave you one fifty, girl. Girl, you wouldn't do nothing, bitch. I was girl. Her. So you know, a hundred and fifty, Mario. Girl, that was more than you would have ever made in the moment. Okay, because it was only a moment, <laughs> bitch. So you know, it was because I told you it was six hundred at first. But you did. Now it's the whole stack. Yeah, girl. it was. Anytime, so any, we're stuck anytime I got to bring another motherfucker in to split money with me, bitch, you got me fucked up. <laughs> bitch, I ain't, the, I ain't the plug, bitch. I'm the boss. So, you know, when he, when you, when you, when, when she was in his mouth and, you know, had her, her unit all the way down here to his, her soft, her soft unit. My what? Her soft unit. My who? Her soft unit. To, Next word of the night, soft unit. unit. Soft unit. A unit is a soft penis. Yes. <laughs> soft unit. <laughs> the next word of the night is soft unit. Everybody on station <laughs> had the soft, soft unit. unit. That's right, soft unit. What? Soft <laughs> unit. Yes, real madhouse. Soft unit. Soft uncut unit. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry. So yeah. when it when it was in its now. And you know he was. I said, "You want me to fuck you?" He was like, "You, you, you." I was like, "So we said this one jumped up because I ain't know what was going on." I was like, "Wait, wait." wait. wait. Cause it was no more. Mm, 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 it was. Mm. And you know my famous words when something like that, when the tides shift in the situation, my famous words is, "Baby." <laughs> Are you okay? Baby. <laughs> Baby. So at this point, I just gonna bad. <laughs> I need up because I don't know what the fuck is going on. Baby. She keeps screaming baby. I don't know baby. I want to know what's that. Baby. Baby. So we all looking to see it. Baby. Just looking. At this time, my erection was gone. Right. Bitch, it was gone. So Bitch. Looking. Baby. Because we look. We now looking? both of us have. Now Lee Tony and I both. Had soft, had a soft unit, baby. <laughs> so we both saw okay. the baby. man. Listen, the man was laying there red. Yeah. 
He had, he had what to do with like Girl, I don't, I don't know how he he had. I think he had coded for a second. Right, he was red, like I mean, he was so flustered, red, like girl, the body. It he was, the head and the body. The girl, dead. that's exactly what I was. <laughs> Kill the head of the body will definitely be dead, bitch. So Latoya was like, girl. <laughs> Now, mind you, this is not the first, this is not the way that you introduce your daughter to have these types of experience. Right. Experiences, honey. You know, you want your daughter's experience if she, you know, you you got to, listen, at, at that time in my life, I was, that was the dark side of the path that I was on. You know, like I told you guys before, I'm never afraid to share, you know, the, the, me being on that dark path because it, it happened. It happened. So that's just what that it was. was it happened. And it happened for me to be able to sit here and tell these stories because, listen, a lot of times a bitch don't understand it. When you when a, when a, when a bitch husband boyfriend or sugar daddy or whatever is go on his lunch break, you never know that these things trip my house. Because bitch, this was definitely a lunch break situation. Yeah, in the house. So this was midday, right? And bitch, Three baby, and, and I, I looked at Latonya. Latonya looked at me. I was like, girl, of course he gonna we gonna put him out the window, girl. Like what we so gonna do? Have to go out the window. We didn't even, our conversation was so like, I think we gained telepathic powers at the time because I didn't want to say nothing because I didn't know if he was faking it or whatever. I didn't know. You get what I'm saying? And window. bitch, it was very much window, 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 yeah, window. In our mind, we just made it, it was the window. Yeah, it was just that and then, <laughs> girl. But it wasn't window because like when yeah, you, you got breath back in. <laughs> because I think you, I think you were, you were, you were poking him like this on the side, and he was, oh, 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 God, oh, kind of like that time when that when I knocked that motherfucking white man out. And say what he said again, and so tell him I, I, I can finish the story what happened. I no, go ahead, you can finish. No, it. you tell him what he said when he jumped back up. He was breaking. Up. What he said, I can't remember. He said, "Do it again." Yes. I know. Yes, he said. That's what he said. <laughs> oh, do it again, baby. I know. That it was kind. Of, <laughs> <laughs> I know. It was kind of like that same shit that happened when I had knocked that motherfucking man out in Boston. <laughs> bitch, I hit that man so hard, murder girl. I hit that motherfucking man so hard, bitch. I hit him for every slave bitch that was ever hit. <laughs> I, hit him for, I hit that man for every slave in the revolutionary bitch, the Civil War bitch, the Jim Crow law. I hit that man for everything, bitch. Wow. Bitch, and that man hit went back and hit that table. I know y'all know this story. If you don't, if you just knew to follow me, bitch, these are the, these, you know, these are the stories that I tell. But bitch, this one was one of the stories I've told you guys before. But we got a little bit more time here on the after dark show. But bitch, it was like when I look over there at the bed, because the bed is still in the same position that it was, girl. And I look over there, and that man came to him, he was like, do it again. And Latonya was like, I'm gone. <laughs> baby, this is uh-uh. He said, where's she going? I said, baby, she okay. <laughs> she okay. She all right. Ooh. She okay. story? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Oh, Let's finish ahead. this one up. Go ahead. So I don't know if you went outside and you waited by the door. No, bitch, I was back in my room and I just listened. You lit because I because did you hear him? You heard me back at work. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, you know, I I I I I bashed that man, honey, like a slave owner, girl, and you know he ejaculated, girl, because I never came, because to come, if you get, bitch, you don't, you hoes don't have no idea. I, a lot of you girls be talking a lot of shit about me, but y'all hoes have no idea the powerhouse bitch that's sitting right here, bitch. I charge them motherfucking niggas and white motherfucking niggas, bitch grips, and not only did I charge the motherfucking niggas grips, bitch, I I ran the shit. And I was not busting no nut, bitch. You want me to bust a fucking nut? You got to pay me five more hundred fucking dollars, bitch. Now, bitch, you gonna get this nut, and then you, you bitch, you better, you better, bitch, you better nut, bitch, because my nut costs, bitch. Everything on me costs. Every dent, every lump, every stretch mark, bitch. Every fucking needle mark from pump silicone, every piece of me costs money, bitch. And you know a lot of you always be asking me, well, Tia Madison, how are you so how are you so confident? Or how are you so confident in yourself? I'm like, I'm confident in myself, bitch, because I was out, bitch, and I was a high price bitch. 
I went from being a twenty dollar bitch on the motherfucking sidewalk bitch to a to a motherfucking five hundred, a thousand, fifteen hundred dollar ass bitch. And a lot of hoes didn't think that I was getting that because I was a fat girl. Bitch, it was. It's not about what you look like and about how you motherfucking what how a bitch perceive you. It's about you knowing who the fuck you is, bitch. Messy time. I knew at those moments in my life, at that time in my life, that I was big dick bitch dot fucking com. And if you wanted any of those situations, because you could run down the street and get you a skinny hoe, or you can run down there and get you a pretty ass little hoe. Or, or 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 a bitch that's so super passable, bitch. You can run down there and get that hoe because that hoe's struggling, bitch. Because bitch, I'm, this is how much I charge. And run down there and tell that whole bitch my, my my fee. And so you know that's why that's why I'm, that's why none of you you bitches can't insult me. You know with your with negative comments and stuff like you can't insult me, girl, bitch. I'm 43 years old, bitch. I ain't worked since I was 23, bitch. 20 years, bitch. And you know, so I just had to get that off my motherfucking chest. But I want you hoes to be more confident in yourself. I want bitches to be more confident in themselves and stop looking around at who, who who you think look better than you or who you think finer than you or better than you or who you it's think got bad. pretty smooth skin and who you think the best bitch. Because a lot of them hoes that you think the best is really, really struggling. Yeah. Them hoes living on the bitch floor right now. Really struggling, bitch. They pretty and struggling, bitch. Not the TF, bitch. I was all kind of fat bitches and locked silicone and all that, bitch. But, bitch, guess what? You better have my motherfucking money when you cross this threshold, bitch, or I'm going to bust your ass in your shit. Period. Messy time. But anyway, so I, 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 he, he ejaculated, and then he got up, you know, and um, I asked him, did he want to take a shower? Or whatever, and he was like, "No, he didn't want to take a shower. He wanted to. Re he wanted to retain the essence of everything." So I was like, "Okay, girl," you know. And he pulled up his clothes or whatever, and um, I walked in the room. I took the stash out that I was given at, at uh, Nekaranda at the time, aka Litania, and I peeled off her her hot one hundred and fifty dollars. You know, I feel like I had a book She felt. Shit. Listen, she ain't do nothing. I ain't do shit. She ain't do shit. And you know what I'm saying? The bitch felt like that. You know what I'm saying? That I, I, feel bitch, like I was the bitch. That, that bitch, bitch felt like the bitch. But I built your confidence up, though. I mean, well, I always had confidence. But bitch, I extra, I extra built yeah. your confidence up with that bullshit. I was like, bitch, if bitch, you coming, bitch, if you got to, if you got to wear your wig to the side like this, bitch, you better ask for your money. Yeah, bitch. You know, shit, I mean, they, they, bitch. They, listen, let me tell you some real shit, bitch. I'm finna say that. Don't you get offended because I'm not talking about you. I'm just talking to a bitch out there. Niggas pay ugly hoes too. Oh, if you that. ugly, bitch, that's a niche. That's your niche being ugly, bitch. That's your niche. If you fucking ugly, bitch, live in your ugliness. I know you're gonna let me be ugly, bitch. You if you fat, that. bitch, I know you're gonna let me be fat. I know you're going to let me be fat, bitch. And I know you're going to let me be fat and fucking proud. I know you're going to let me be ugly and motherfucking proud. I know you're going to have let me have a big dick and motherfucking proud. I know you're going to let me have a motherfucking... You're going to let me have lots of... Lots of motherfucking, you have a mustache. You're going to let me have a mustache and be proud. You, I know you're going to let me have this stuff because, bitch, I know that, bitch, while you worried about it, bitch, somebody <laughs> like it. Messy <laughs> <Back to> child! <laughs> 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 Shit. And so, you know. And what I was gonna say to that, my thing is. Let me finish so oh. tell us what to finish. So I went in there and I peeled off, I peeled off her her money and bitch. What was it? Was it was it a hundred and a fifty dollar bill? Because he paid me in big bills. Yeah, I think it was a hundred and fifty dollars. I gave the bitch a hundred and fifty dollars. That bitch, I don't know what that bitch, that bitch wanted to smoke. I felt like I ain't I had came up and I ain't do shit. Yeah. And so, you know, he left or whatever. And he called me back once again. And I asked him that he want the two girl because, you know, the two girl is very expensive. And he was like, no, 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 no. No, I don't want two girls. That was a lot for me at that time. It was a great experience, you know, you know, and that was it. And um, what did you think about? You know what? This is my first time. Really. Like, why did you? Let me interview you after on, this session. Go. I'm ready. What did you, how did you feel in that moment? Like, what, what was your perception of me at that moment? Because that was really your first time actually seeing me so work. So, honestly, truthfully, my, my perception of you, oh, this is a bitch that's about her money, and she gonna get the money with it. I'm gonna get it, if I'm gonna work, if you ain't gonna work for it. This is how I eat, and I take this very seriously as a job, so... If your dick ain't gonna get home, mine is. <laughs> <laughs> and... 
Um, if you're not going to perform, I am. Correct. And so I just looked at you. A, I looked at you a, as a boss in that moment. Like you was a boss bitch in that moment. Like, because I, like I said, bitch, I didn't do nothing. And you still broke me off, whether I worked or not. You feel what I'm saying? And that was your choice to break me off or No, not because, you know, me. listen, I, I'm about, it, it's the business plan, bro. That's what I was saying. That's what you and It's just what it was. It. Like, girl, you didn't, you didn't complete. You, you, you know, you came in, girl. You, you had look, you had on your little base <laughs> in a little wig on the side. I was like, girl, she put in the effort. Girl, here go 150, girl. She got her meat lit. You know, it didn't never got hard. Her balls was all in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> and girl, you were almost you were almost an accessory to a ah! to a to a murder. Right. To a murder. <laughs> to a murder. Um, you so, know, I mean, at that point I was just I don't know. I was just this, you know, just looking at you as a boss bitch in that moment. Because I felt like you was a boss and like even though I didn't do that, I was like, bitch, I didn't know. It was a lot going on. First of all, mm-hmm. and like my first, I ain't never been exposed to a trans experience with a like a trans date and dating with a date. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like me, if I did something, it was always three, three books queens or you know like a trade or you know what I'm saying. But you was a whole lot. But you was a woman, and bitch, I look like nobody's woman sitting there, captivated like bitch. This is a white man, and bitch, if something happens to him, bitch, we mom. Right. And that's the same way I felt about that Boston story. So I'm going to tell that Boston story again, but not tonight. So, bitch, we punked and we in Georgia. And he's white. And you in what's my house? And I'm out here in Conjure. Right, right. The home of the K, K and K. Right. And, bitch, if that white man would have perished in here, it was the same feeling I had. If that white man would have perished in Boston, I would have like, girl, listen, God. Oh, no, I need to call my home. I need to call some niggas. Some, some, I need to call some of them trade niggas. I've been fucking bitch. We're gonna have to rid ourselves of the situation, girl. Or I was gonna go in his phone and try to unlock his phone and call him. Like, girl, your husband is dead. I hear he can't. He the water man and he came to turn the water on. I would have found out what he did for a living, girl. And he died in the yard because you was gonna drag that bitch out there in the yard, throw him out the window. Something it was gonna be something, bitch. So, bitch, I didn't know what I didn't, you know, at that point, I didn't know that bitch, bitch, we fucked, you know, and bitch, we in Georgia. It's different if we was in Miami, but bitch, we in we in Georgia. Oh, girl, you don't want it, bitch. Those Miami stores are very are more vicious. You you you, hold, you over here in Conju, so bitch, and you know, bitch, we already you already know what that is. So bitch, I was just it was a lot going on, but I mean, I enjoyed it. Did you learn any lessons from there? Yes, bitch, I always get my money. Right. <laughs> No matter what, bitch. No matter what you look like, bitch. Dumb niggas gonna pay you for no matter what you look right, like. Right, and don't sell yourself short for nothing, bitch. Right. Listen, and, and you know, I don't really, I, and I want you guys not to take away from here that I that I encourage prostitution, but I also don't encourage you hoes to have y'all lights off and fucking men. <laughs> I also don't encourage you hoes to be motherfucking getting your pussy ate, bitch, and your motherfucking goddamn water bill doing you can't wipe that pussy. Right. And I also don't encourage you hoes to be out there motherfucking struggling, bitch, and fucking niggas. It's either one got to go, one got to go. Either the niggas you fucking got to go, bitch, or bitch, the bills. Your bills can't go because your bills still going to be there. That's just what it is. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? You can't be, it's one, it was one or the other one. You can't be fucking a nigga and you, and you asking your friend for money. This why I don't let a bitch borrow a fucking thing. You can't be fucking no whole bunch of people and be broke. It can't happen. You can't have a dry pussy and a wet ass. You can't have a dry purse and a wet ass. Hmm. That's what you meant to say. That's what I meant your to say. pocketbook can't be dry and your ass is lubed up. Hmm. Your motherfucking throat can't be full, bitch, and your stomach empty. Five mouths empty. It just can't happen. It just, you know what I'm saying? I, and you I don't, backwards. You, you bitch, you, you, you hustling backwards, bitch. It just don't work like that. You feel me? And I'm, I'm never, ever, ever, ever going to encourage anyone to be a prostitute. But I am going to tell you, if you fucking niggas, bitch, get money. Get money, bitch. Get money. That's just what it is, bitch. And I, I ain't ashamed about it, and I ain't embarrassed about it. You get what I'm saying? That's not the field that I'm in anymore. You know, I've, I've 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 taken social media, and I've, I've I've learned how to make lucrative businesses about that, and I've also learned how to you know come forth and tell people my story and talk to the masses and encourage people or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I've I've, I've learned you know how to to survive in this world. You know, and um, my thing is because you know, 
People still write me and stuff. And, and what they wait a minute, what they write you and say? They write me on tag and stuff, and and you know when you ask them for a fee, you know the first thing they say, I can get it for free, bro. Mm. Cause them bitches don't tag me fucking, and a lot of them be fucking, and they ain't got no. No, a lot of them be fucking for free, and they can't host. They ain't got no car. A lot of them be fucking for free. They ain't got no car. Nothing. I remember I met this girl and I don't even want to, I ain't gonna never call her name, but um, <clears throat> she was fucking Allen Iverson. Girl, you know who you is and you know that advice I gave you. She met Allen Iverson. He took her out on a date. I, I know her. He took her out on a date. She fucked him. She rolled his dick and she asked me the next day, you know, how does she get money from him? Bitch, you supposed to got that I the said, first bitch, day. you didn't get the money first. The fuck? That's Ivan Iverson, ho. You didn't get the money first, bitch. Oh yeah, you had you bitch, you ain't no punk. Cause the real ass punk would have got that money, bitch. You a woman. And bitch, a lot of times I met so many women that now I learned how to be if you want me to be honest with you, I learned how to hold from the real from a woman, bitch. Who was that woman? Yes, it was a bunch of them, bitch. We was at, we I learned how to hold bitch from from it from a woman. <laughs> Believe it. And then I learned how to really get the guac. From other transsexuals, bitch. From my gay mama, them. From my gay mama. So I was gonna to put that shit in my children, bitch. You can do any job in the world. You can go be a motherfucking goddamn scientist or fucking network for NASA or whatever, bitch. If you if, they, if you lose your job and you fall down on hard times and you want to suck a dick, bitch, you tell that nigga to pay you. Yes, That's just what it is. I ain't telling you to be a hoe all your life, but bitch, if you need it, bitch, you better charge it. Yes, so you know. And she was fucking that nigga, and I was like, "Girl, you mean to tell me you didn't let this man, bitch? This, this, this a lot of them men pray. They don't be hitting y'all up because y'all pretty and y'all bad no. bitches. They hit y'all a lot. Y'all hit. They hit y'all motherfucking hoes up because bitch, they know that bitch is zero. It's zero. <laughs> it's zero to put in and all to get out." Bitch, I'm pretty. You know what I'm saying? We fucking you because you just... Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't really know how to ask no man for nothing. Hi. You how you to... don't know how to ask but, no but man? But you man? know what, me? How you don't know how to ask no man, but you know how to ask the next bitch? Can you give me $20? Yeah, you don't know how to ask no man. How many you just get fucked ass night? But bitch, you owe that ass in your motherfucking <laughs> home, girl. Let you borrow 50. Let, help you put something on the light, but bitch, you don't know how to ask the nigga that just came down and ran down on your pussy twice. What kind of bitch is you? Oh, that's my back this bitch. What kind of bitch is you to I'm let a motherfucking nigga jump off the side of the bed in your womb, bitch, and you, you get, get zero? No, not no type of wild. And bitch, you struggling to try to keep that bed up. Man, you bitch, you got that from Ringer's Center, and you been on your bed. Bitch, do you know how many motherfucking niggas will be, uh, and, and somebody feelings gonna be hurt because somebody gonna be talking about this bullshit. Somebody feelings gonna be hurt. But the, at the end of the fucking day, you know how many niggas will, will, will lay up with you in the dark? <laughs> <laughs> and you hoes be out here, I'm going to ride with my nigga. We going to be down on the yeah, dance. Yeah. No, we ain't. No, we we ain't finna be like that. Not in the dark. We ain't finna be on the ground. No, no, we ain't finna be on the ground together. <laughs> you, we ain't finna be on the ground together. Uh, somebody asked me on Station Head, was your girlfriend who was messing with, with Alan Iverson of Trent? No, she was a woman. Real she was the real woman, and she not a real. She was a she was a cisgender woman, cisgender woman. and she asked me, "How do you ask men for money?" Because she knew, bitch, I got money. She knew I fucked niggas and got it, bitch. It, that was the demand from the job. Yeah. And she was like, "How do you do that?" I'm like, "Bitch, you got a pussy. You don't know how powerful that is, bitch." You can't be that powerful. You got a pussy. That's instant credit. The first bitch that taught me how to hold was a, was a six year old woman, and that bitch told me, "Bitch, this instant credit." <laughs> when that bitch said that shit to me, I was like, "Oh, she said, bitch, that's this right here is instant credit." I said, "Ooh, I worship that bitch. I worship that bitch because I seen that bitch. I, I seen that bitch. I never call her name." I seen that bitch, niggas never played with that bitch. That bitch used to, niggas used to be begging that hoe, bitch to, begging that hoe to give them to give her their money. And I worshiped that hoe. I was like, bitch, you is ooh, bitch, ooh. Bitch, I love you. Ooh. Mm-mm. I know her. You might. I worship that bitch. 
She from Florida, bitch. Mm-hmm. Bitch, this right here, that whole bitch, this is instant credit. I was like, oh, oh I was young. Niggas gonna pay for this. Bitch, and when I found out, bitch, that I had instant credit too, bitch, because I knew because I was a well-endowed, a well-endowed bitch. When I found out that this was instant, instant credit, I was like, oh, 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 oh shit. Bitch, <laughs> me and you the same, bitch. We may not got the same thing. But bitch, that thought process is the same, bitch. And all you got to do is know it. Know it. Bitch, when you know it, bitch, them motherfuckers got to pay up. Pay up. All right, everybody. We're about to get off of here. Join us on Station Head. Station Head, we coming to y'all. We about to keep the story going. So make sure y'all click the link in the bio and join us on Station Head right now because I'm going to open up the lines on Station Head, Grawl. And we about to care. We about to cut up on this bitch because we gonna be playing motherfucking music on this shit and carrying on. Thank y'all for watching the live version of it. We about to do the TS Madison after dark on Station Head. Click on the link. It's free, bitch. It's free. See y'all next week, girl. Station Head. Y'all sit tight, bitch. We about to we about to play some music. Roll up a joint, bitch. We about to have a good time. All right, y'all here in the visual. Get over here on the radio. Hey, baby, I shun them all. Glory to God. Hey, but I thank God. Honda BBBI Shack. God, look on right now. In the name of Jesus, healing hands, touch and deliver. Healing hands, touch and make whole. Hallelujah. Ha. Honda BBBI Shack. Look on every man, every woman, every boy, and every girl. Hey, EBI Shondo. God, we came to praise you. We came to lift you up. We came to magnify your holy name. Hey, EBBI Shatai, because truly the name of the Lord is a high tower, the righteous run in, and they are saved. Hey, EBBI Shonama, God, as this broadcast airs, hey, EBBI Shondo, let a spirit of encouragement sweep over your people. This is Evangelist Mary L. McCracken, and you are listening to the Holy Ghost Outreach Broadcast. Hey, EBBI Shonama. And I tell you, I tell you, I am fat up because I'm wrapped up and tangled up with the Lord. I am fat up because I'm on my way to heaven and I'm certainly enjoying the trip. Hey, EBBI Shonama. He's real down on the inside. Truly, we have a special broadcast today. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. We can't leave y'all yet without giving the people thanks that, that sent us the cash apps tonight, bitch. Hold on, Lee Tanya. Tell them for the folks that was out there viewing. Hello, you know, hold on, bitch, bitch. Y'all, y'all made it rain down. Thank you, Richard Kelly. Richard Kelly, thank you very much. Thank you, Coretta. Coretta, thank you. Arturo Fanzarelli, thank you, baby. Cassie, Cassie P, thank you. Jamila Gibbons, thank you very much. Joy Amore, thank you. Tammy Faye, god damn it, is I, I, I love to meet a woman named Tammy Faye. Her name was Tammy Faye Nesner. Tammy Faye Baker. Sexy Queen, thank you, baby. Jolie Snow, thank you. And Bad Boy B, thank you, baby. Thank you so much. Oh, wait a minute. Danielle Jones, thank you, baby. And thank you, Shania Walker. Thank you, baby. And Nivia Wright, I love you. I love you. Mashandra, Mashandra Suggs, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let me you. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Kayla. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Charlotte, thank you, Arturo Fanzarelli Jr. Lita, you got to dance too for they for you leave. I'm sorry, we can't. We thank can't. you, Athea. Thank you, Cassie. Thank you, Tammy Faye. Thank you, Jamila. Thank you, Tough Cookie. Thank you, Coretta. Thank you, Joy Amore. Thank you, Josephine. Thank you, Jola. Thank you, Bad Boy B. And thank you, Miranda. Okay. You say, Miranda, all right. Lita, you come on, because we got to get over here on station here. They waiting. They waiting over here. Oh, yes, ma'am. Lita, you ready to ride it up before we get over here on station here, and then we're going to be playing that music live so we don't get no copyright strikes, bitch. Oh, Lita, did you talk? Did you talk? Hey, oh. It's that bitch, Lita. I took the bitch in a Mercedes by the other. Lita, ooh. She wild as fuck. She wild as fuck. Cause that bitch get up. Me turn you out. She a bad bitch. A bad bitch. And she got a big kid. Me turn you out. Watch her wine. Watch her wine and then get her from behind. Me turn you out. Don't you lose that wig. Lose that wig. Bitch, lose that wig. Me turn you out. Her name should be playing. Her name should be plain, cause I'm me, me, say, me, try your yeah, bitch. I'm talking about, wait a minute, wait a minute. 
Every time you say my name, she be saying my people be saying my people. Bitch, if you put name. your man on my motherfucking ass, did you did you yeah, yeah I talked to that motherfucking white man, put the ass on put the ass on our motherfucking this has been a T.S. Madison and RDE Multimedia Group presentation. Hey guys, if you just enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton. Or if you're already here, click that bell up there, up there, one of them, and subscribe so that you don't miss this or any other excellent content that I have for you. Don't meet me here. Beat me here. Ciao. I get so sick of sisters. I